Hi guys, in this video we're going to learn how to sketch an equation using its x-intercept and its symmetry. So the knowledge that we can get from the equation based on its symmetry and its intercepts we're going to use to sketch the graph. Okay, So we're going to use some of the skills we learned in, in earlier videos. So the equation we're going to start with is x minus y squared equals 1. Okay? Let's test whether this equation has x-axis symmetry. So, if you watched the previous video, what we're going to do is replace everywhere we see a y with a negative y and see whether the resulting equation is equivalent to this original one. Okay? So, We're going to test x-axis symmetry. So x minus, in parentheses, minus y squared equals 1, because we replaced negative y with y. I mean y with negative y. Now, let's simplify this. x minus negative y squared is positive y squared equals 1. And what do you notice? that this resulting equation is the same as the original one. So we have x-axis symmetry. They're equivalent equations. Okay, So we know that whatever we draw above the axis, whatever it might be, if it's that, then we know that below the axis will be exactly the same. Okay. Now let's get the x-intercept. Oh this equation. And if you remember from previous videos, to get the x-intercept, we replace y with 0. Or you can say we set y equal to 0. Okay. Now if we set y equal to 0 in this equation, we get x minus 0 squared equals 1. And that just equals x equals 1. 1. So the y-intercept is at 1. And more specifically, it's at 1, 0. The point 1, 0, right? So we can start to plot this graph. 1, we could say, is somewhere around here. And 0 is obviously stays on the x-axis because that's the x-intercept, right? Where this graph crosses the x-axis is the x-intercept. Okay, now we can sketch a couple points and we can make a little table and we would see that above the axis the curve starts out like this and slows down on and on and on to positive infinity. Okay, curve sketching using uh, points and coordinates. We've done a video on that. Be sure to check that out. We don't want to spend too much time getting the points. Basically what we're doing is we're plugging in points for x and then getting the resulting y points. Right? So if we put y equal x equals 1 in here, we get y equals 0. If we get x equals 2 in here, we get y equals 1. Right? 2 minus 1 squared equals 1 and so on right and if we did that we would get these points that's 2 1 that's 1 0 and on and on and on and since we already figured out that this equation has x-axis symmetry because we tested for it here we know that everything above the x-axis is going to look exactly the same below the x-axis Hence, x-axis symmetry. So I'll draw it in red to show that how we did this in two stages. Okay, try to make it exactly like the top. Okay, and although I use two separate colors, I'm just pointing out the fact that we did this in a different way than the typical way of plugging in points for all the uh, for, for all the points. Okay. Notice also that when x equals two. 
y also can be negative 1, not just 1, right? Because x equals 2 in the equation minus y squared equals 1. Well, y can be 1, but it also can be negative 1. Because either one of these squared equals 1. So this equation would always result in 2 minus 1 equals 1. And both these y values would satisfy it. So when x is 2, y is both 1 and negative 1. And we can go on and on with these points. But we took a slightly different route. We first tested the symmetry. We got the x-intercept. We sketched the top portion above the x-axis. And then, knowing that there's symmetry on the x-axis, we made a mirror reflection below the x-axis. Okay, so I hope this helps out. Sometimes equations aren't so easy to get the points for, or it might be just much quicker to just uh, do it another way, getting the intercepts and the symmetry. So, hope this was helpful. If you weren't familiar with symmetry and how to get intercepts, make sure you watch those videos. There's a couple videos on each of those topics. And until next time, have a great day.